And spawning in the top right position as our Blue Zerg player took game number one against Shine. It is from Mouse Esports, Hope. And in the bottom left corner as the Red Protoss player coming in for MVP. It is Lure. I don't actually know much of anything about Lure, in all honesty. Um, obviously a high level Korean player, of course, MVP, definitely one of the top teams in Korea. Very interested to see uh, how he's going to play this game, uh, largely because I, I don't know too much about his style. So this is going to be an interesting experience, I believe. Uh, Pylon is positioned for a fast expand. Now PVZ on this map, Daybreak, the classic Protoss versus Zerg split map struggle from Wings of Liberty. Brought into HOTS, we usually don't see too much of that. Um, which means we, we should have a pretty pretty high-octane, interesting game. Um, by, by all regards. So, Probe is going to come in here and scout now for Lure. We do have Hope. Um, continuing to drone. He has, of course, the option to go for the... Uh, the oh, he's actually... It's going to come down to whether he makes another drone. Yeah, so it looks like he's either going to go for a 15 hatchery or a 15 pool with the Probe already here. He is going to start that spawning pool. And we should see him try to get a hatchery up um, relatively soon. He's actually checking for any kind of uh, hidden proxy cannon rush uh, that could threaten the pool or the, the mineral line. And Lore, doing a bit of mineral micro. Uh, he's actually going to... He needs to get that probe down to the natural. He's not going to be able to block uh, this hatchery from going up. But that might not be his goal. Uh, we do have a probe going down. He is going to be going for the Nexus first. Um, typically speaking, uh, as, as far as Protoss openers against Zerg go in Heart of the Swarm, the Stargate was very popular towards the end of Wings of Liberty, uh, being able to use Phoenix to deny fast Mutalisks, um, get good scouting, and clear away Overlords. Uh, and, and in all honesty, that's actually pretty big in Heart of the Swarm, too. He actually delayed this, this hatchery quite a bit, uh, considerably, about 30 seconds, which is, you know, that's the that's the build time of a probe. Um, and, it, and 30 seconds is also the same amount of time it takes for two larva to spawn. So not that at all from MVP Lure. Getting in the way of that drone trying to build a hatchery. And the forge is going to come up as a follow-up. Uh, we should see Gateway next. There it is. Then a cannon and uh, two gas geysers for Lure. If he goes for just one, uh, we could see a very fast Gateway timing or possibly an incredibly fast third base. Um, slightly unlikely, though. Photon Cannon is coming in for our MVP Protoss player. And nothing out of the usual for Hope. He knows about the expansion. He, he knows about uh, how fast it was taken. So he's just going to get a third base up. And this this is the ideal thing to do, really. Uh, we've seen a lot of players, pretty much when you, when you kind of see this situation where you know the Protoss is fast expanded, you just drone up really heavily on three bases. You saturate your main, saturate your natural, saturate your third, and then you take gas. Usually we'll see the gas come up around um, 5.45 or 6 minutes, uh, and then I switch into lair with an evolution chamber and a roach warren, but Hope might have something different up his sleeve. We will have to see. Um, Lure starting to continue to produce probes, chrono boosting those out in his natural and main. Does have both geysers in the main, um, and third hatchery is on its way. Now, Lure does actually still have his probe out and about on the map. He doesn't know about the third base just yet, but no real reason to suspect that Hope would do anything uh, cheeky, as it were. Um, continuing to produce these drones. We have a Zealot coming out for Lure, of course, just to block off this little choke point. I'm um, using the probe to hold there for now. He's going to run a second probe out to scout. He really doesn't want to lose the initial one. Um, having this tucked away gives him the option for proxy pylons later and also avoids this issue of... Oop, the Zergling found your probe. He's actually not chasing it. He does have the Zergling at the tower, though. We'll most likely try to chase this probe down and eliminate it. Um, Stargate, though, is going to be the choice of tech for Lure. And as I said, at six minutes, we do have two gas geysers going for Hope as well. Um, the Stargate play most commonly is going to be for um, Phoenix. We, we've seen occasionally uh, Oracle openers, n not popular at all though. Um, some players like Creator Prime like to open with Void Rays. Um, but with the plus one attack coming in as well, 
seems he's going to be looking a little bit more towards a, a later scenario. He can, of course, try to produce some Void Rays, go for a Zealot timing, but uh, that build has fallen largely out of popularity. We'll have to see what exactly he wants to do. It is going to be a Phoenix um, from the Stargate, and Hope is just droning. He is saturated in the main. There is that lair now. The uh, rest of the drones actually, to finish saturating this third base, are on the way over there. So he's hitting his timing pretty well. He's going to actually take uh, two more Gas Geysers. And this kind of makes me think he's uh, possibly looking to go for Fast Hydralisk play, since he hasn't built a Roach Warren. Um, slightly interested that he has no Evolution Chambers, but it's not the biggest deal ever. This Overlord is going to come in here, um, basically see what's up. Three Gateways have been added for Lure. This is the standard follow-up, of course, guys. Um, typically speaking, as a Protoss player, you want to be on four Gates on two bases uh, against a Zerg if you are looking to take a third at some point. Another big tell can actually be if he goes for a Twilight Council as well. But now we have the Evolution Chamber coming in here. Hope is going to immediately pull his Overlords over to his Spore Crawlers. He doesn't want to get caught by these Phoenix. He's sending all the Overlords home. Uh, and Lure is going to be able to pick off a couple of them, so not bad at all. He's getting a Proxy Pylon set up as well. Um, with these three gates finishing, he could be trying to put on a bit of pressure. He's moving out of Zella in a Stalker. Um, he's actually leaving his main base a little bit vulnerable to a counterattack. But we do have the Hydralisk Den coming in for Hope, and that's kind of, you know, what we've been seeing, a, a bit of a trend uh, for trying to kill Stargate openings from Zerg players, is, you know, they, they're saying, I can skip the Roach Warren. Um, Hydralisks, if I get them fast enough, are actually pretty good against, uh, actually pretty solid against Immortals. Uh, we've seen players like Hyun really, really rock uh, Century Immortal all-ins just with Hydralisks. So now a couple of zealots being warped in by the third base of Hope. Is Lure going to be able to do some damage? This is a very light pressure, but with the Phoenix here to support, um, he could do a lot of damage. He's moving in now. The third base, the drones have to be pulled away from the mineral line. Oh, goodness, the zealots are going to be able to take out that Spore Crawler, which will allow the Queens um, to be picked up by this Phoenix. And so he shall. He now grabbing them. He's going to start two Spine Crawlers, but these zealots are doing a lot of damage already. Lure, he's only killed two drones this game, but... um. Still not uh, not bad at all pressure. The lost mining time, but the Hydralisks are coming out now for Hope. Picking off some of the Phoenix. Now, Phoenix to actually do bonus damage versus Hydralisks, so they can be very good at cleaning these up. He doesn't have actually too many Hydras left. Um, I'd actually really like to see him go for... What on Earth is this? Someone lower the game speed? Game is complete. Okay, so someone accidentally, someone accidentally pressed minus and slowed the game down. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty hilarious. All right, I think he said he fixed it. So hopefully, all is well. Yeah, guys, as an observer, you can actually uh, speed or slow down the game speed um, while while you're refereeing. So just a bit of a of a hiccup there. But the third base does fall. It wouldn't change the uh, the situation really at all or the outcome. But Hope does have a good number of Hydralisks on the field. Uh, he is uh, looking possibly to be a bit aggressive here. These five Phoenix are putting on the pressure, though, taking out some more of these Overlords. Um, the Hydralisks are going to try to catch them. He, uh, He's actually not gotten any Hydralisk upgrades yet. Very interesting. He's got the plus one coming in, but he really needs to get range and speed. Uh, gives these Hydralisks just so much more utility. Um, does take out one of the Phoenix, though, with the Spore Crawler, so not bad. Uh, overall, Lure did manage to kill five drones. Not really that big, but killing this third. And the mining time lost, definitely worth it. Uh, especially the Queens. Um, of course, you don't want to lose in Jets. And we now have a Roachworn going up as well. And Hydralisk Range will be the first upgrade for Hope. Uh, this is Zergling actually denying this third a little bit. Lure will be able to get it now, though. And he is actually going to move straight into Colossi. So very, very nice Crips timing from Lure. He, he's basically guaranteed himself a little bit of safety against the Hydralisks. Um, sometimes we do have the Zerg players trying to go for two base or three base Hydralisk busts uh, as responses to the uh, to the Phoenix opener. Ooh, takes out another one of those those Phoenix. Needs to be a bit uh, a bit less brave with these, I think. Uh, the Phoenix are, are very good to have throughout the game, but you never want to rebuild these. That's a lot of gas. Um, you know, five Phoenix, that's 500 gas. That's, a, that's quite a bit, but the first Colossus is out. Extended Thermal Lance being researched to give that plus that plus range. And Pylon in the bottom center being taken out. So, uh, 
Lure isn't going to be able to warp anything on this map anymore. He's lost his map presence, uh, which is mostly fine. He does have three Phoenix. The problem is, of course, he's not going to be able to do anything like pick up um, Queens with these. You do need at least four to kill Queens with one lift. Um, Ventral Sacks, though, and no Overlord speed. He's, he's researching Overlord drops now. He is getting his Roach speed. He's getting his plus two missile attacks. Um, and it looks like this kind of timing, he will probably start his ventral, his uh, pneumaticized carapace soon, the overlord speed. It does research much, much faster than ventral sacks. He can actually start that halfway through ventral sacks and then immediately um, they will actually finish at the same time. Now he is moving more of these hydralisks forward. He's getting the speed upgrade, the muscular augments. So these hydralisks, man, they, they're lifting their weights, going to be able to move faster. And uh, Zergling's going to try to run by to this third. He wants to pick up this Photon Cannon. Uh, two Colossi, though, going to say, no, sir, get out of here. The cannon will barely survive. And uh, Phoenix is kind of chilling. <laughs> Hydralisks going back towards the center of the map. Now, looking at the current game situation, it's, it's obvious Hope wants to go for a big drop play. Um, the, the question is, is Lure going to be able to see this coming? Um, by not getting the... Overlord speed until Overlord drop is already done. It's impossible for Lure uh, to know about this in advance. The most he might be able to see is his observer spotting a fast Overlord. Um, but I, I, I do have to say the composition right now for Lure is looking very solid. Um, it's all about catching your opponent off guard with the drops. He's now maxed on the Roaches and the Hydralisks. And of course the Hydralisks deal quite a bit of DPS. That plus two attack will come in very handy. 1-1 one, one is done for Lure. He's getting his plus 2 attack right about to finish, actually. Uh, but here come the Overlords. He does now have that uh, Overlord speed. He's going to load up, and ooh, it looks like he wants to go for a very big split push. Um, he's going to be moving on towards the third. He needs to watch. He doesn't get force fielded in here, though. The Overlords are going to try to move in and drop on top of this army. Uh, I don't think this uh, drop's going to come in in time, though, from our Mouse Zerg player. He's going to be able to push this third, though. And wow, a retreat from Lure. He's going to drop right on top, trying to maybe snipe these Colossi off. It looks like he will be able to hold, however. And uh, Hope being shoved back. He actually wasn't able to kill too much. Photon Overcharge from that Mothership Core being very useful as well. And Hope, he's getting an Infestation Pit. Now he's going to start looking towards the later stages of the game. But with this many Colossi on the field, three of them are going to be able to do a lot of damage. He actually has a fourth now. And without the Hive even starting yet, he doesn't have any Vipers. Uh, which is, you know, the, the number one unit for dealing with, uh, with Colossi. The... The, the existence of Void Rays as well as just the overall difficulty of using Corruptors makes, uh, makes a much better choice to be Vipers for, for cost-effectively defeating these kinds of armies. Um, doesn't look like Lure wants to commit just yet. He may attempt to take a fourth base or just rally his forces forward, make sure that he has uh, an Observer with his army so he doesn't get caught off guard, that sort of thing. Now, plus three weapons is coming in for Lure. He may just be looking to go for a plus three timing to allow these Colossi to just rip these Hydras to shreds. He doesn't actually have a Carapace upgrade yet. He may get into a fight right now. A good amount of energy on his only two sentries, so he could force field this army. He's going to be moving in. Guardian Shield does get activated to take two less damage from these ranged units. Pretty solid Conkey for Hope, but Lure, he, he just has so much more. The Colossi, not challenged at all, will be able to vaporize the Zerg force, and Hope is in trouble. 25 Roaches coming out now. Plus three attack is only halfway done. Uh, so this army's only going to get stronger for Lure as time goes on. Hope will get his plus one carapace, but that does not scale very well versus uh, the the multiple multiplier attack of uh, of Lure. And he's going to move in, try to defend this third base. Uh, his fourth could get shut down pretty easily, but it looks like Lure wants to go for the kill. He's heading into the natural. He doesn't actually have any more board control here. Just the Colossi for the AOE. The Phoenix coming in, helping to take out the Overlord, trying to drop. He actually kills a loaded one. Um, but the Colossi, they're behind all of this meat. He's going to step forward. Actually manages to snipe one of the Colossus. Manages to snipe a second one. Lore needs to be very careful he doesn't overextend. But in all honesty, Hope, he just can't afford to make enough uh, enough units to stave this off, it seems. 14 Roaches are about to come out. But there's the GG. And MVP takes its first game in this best of nine series. Um... Pretty solid play there from our Protoss coming in from MVP. Definitely not a bad game at all. And he just nailed his transition so well. Opening up with the Phoenix. Um, and then going with that pressure, with the, the four gate pressure. You know, sometimes you just got to imagine if he was mining that third base a little bit longer, would he have been able to afford enough uh, Hydralisks fast enough so that when he went for that max out drop timing, that it would have been able to actually kill him or give him a significant edge. Um, you know... Sometimes you just never know. 
Uh, but, guys, we'll get into the next game as soon as we can. I am Nathanius, your caster for today. You're watching the Acer Team Story Cup. Don't go anywhere.